In this video, we are going to look how to code cardiovascular system procedures from our CBT coding manual. So to start, make sure to open up your cardiovascular system guidelines. There's quite a few in our CBT book. So you can see once you open up cardiovascular surgery starts Remember on the side, it always tells us what the code range is. So cardiovascular code range 33016 to 39599. So it breaks down the anatomy and the specific procedures, right? Heart and pericardium. Over here, more procedures. Then page three, arteries and veins, all the procedures. And then at the bottom is the uh, hemic and lymphatic systems, which we'll have a separate video on. Then the other nice thing that CBT does is it breaks down the different arteries and veins. So you can see the picture of the circulatory system if you're unsure. There's lots of great diagrams, so I would encourage you to look at these. Also read all the information about the specific procedures. The cardiovascular system can be pretty complex to code certain procedures, so it's very important you fully understand the guidelines and the procedures. So again, as you're coding these systems, make sure and read the sub-guidelines or subsections inside your CPT manual. So we're going to go ahead and do our three practice scenarios. Our first one is our patient is coming in for insertion of a ventricular pacemaker. So our procedure is insertion. So if we open up index, we're gonna to go to I to insertion. And then what are we inserting? We're inserting the pacemaker and it tells us C cardiac assist devices. So now we go to C, the cardiac assist devices, it's right here. And then we are gonna go down to pacemaker. And we inserted a pacemaker, so we're going pacemaker insertion and system. So we have the code range 33206 to 33208. So then we're going to flip to that section. Three, three, two, zero, six, two, oh, seven, and two, oh, eight are the three we need to read. So three, three, two, oh, six is insertion of new or replacement of permanent pacemaker with transvenous electrode atrial. 33207 would read insertion of new or replacement of permanent pacemaker with transvenous electrode ventricle, because remember you replace what's after the semicolon. And then 33208 would read insertion of new or replacement of permanent pacemaker with transvenous electrode, atrial, and ventricular. So our scenario was just ventricular. So we would assign 33207. Okay, let's practice another one. Our patient is coming in for a repair of a pulmonary venous stenosis. So our main term there is our procedure, which is repair. So we're gonna go to R to repair. And again, it was repair of pulmonary venous stenosis. So once we get to repair, we're gonna to go to P and down to pulmonary, and right there we have pulmonary venous stenosis, three, three, seven, two, six. So now we're gonna to flip to three, three, seven, two, six. We're gonna read the, the description and make sure it's what we want, three, three, seven, two, six. Repair of pulmonary venous stenosis. So that's correct. So now you're gonna do the one on your own where you pause the video, 
find the code and then unpause to see if you have the correct answer. So the case you're coding is a patient coming in for cerebral thrombolysis by IV. Again, cerebral thrombolysis by IV. So go ahead and pause the video, find the code, and then unpause when you think you have the correct code. Okay, hopefully you've unpaused and you have code 37195, which reads thrombolysis cerebral by intravenous infusion, which is what an IV is, right, intravenous. So to find that, in your index, you would have went to thrombolysis, thrombolysis cerebral infusion by IV 37195. 